What would you say if I told you that some very top secret United States classified government documents were leaked online? Now what if I told you that these government documents were leaked online over a Discord? Well, you'd probably say that the Discord mods weren't doing their job of protecting literal national security on their server. Well, you'd be correct in that sense. What if I also told you that the person who leaked these documents was merely a 21 year old kid? And I say kid because to have control of government documents at the age of 21, that's pretty dang young. To have that kind of access. Now, to wrap things up, what if I told you that these government documents were leaked online by a 21 year old over a discord based around sex, racism, and just generally disgusting things like slurs and all kinds of stuff. You probably wouldn't believe me. And if I'm being honest with you, that was my exact reaction to the information when I found out about this. So let's talk about it. Hi, this is the part of it. God. Hi. This is the part of the video where I beg for your subscription and your like. Well, I'm not actually begging, but if you do enjoy the video so far, please drop a like and subscribe. Um, also, follow my Instagram. Uh, I'll put it up right here, but it's also in the description as well if you want to go follow it. But also, it's time for a new segment for the videos. It is time for my favorite comments. Here are some of my favorite comments from the most recent videos featuring John Pork. is a great one. Thank you all for commenting on my videos, it really helps. Uh, but leave a comment and you'll get a shout out in the next video um, if I like it. Back to the video. Who is this 21 year old that's behind this absolutely insane government information breach? Well, the kid's name is Jack Teixeira. Teixeira is a United States Guardsman with an intelligence division in the state of Massachusetts. Chu Massachusetts? So the kid is kind of a big deal despite only being 21 years old. It's honestly pretty impressive that he's that high up this early on. He was charged in the town that he was living in, Boston, on two counts of the violation of the United States Espionage Act. What is the Espionage Act? It is basically the unauthorized retention and transmission of national defense information uh, and the unauthorized removal and retention of classified documents. So basically just leaking crap. You're holding that information loosely and you're not really taking into account uh, the fact that you could leak that to millions of people. What does this add up to? Well, Jack could get up to 15 years in prison, which honestly seems like a light sentence for what he's done. You know, 15 years is 15 years. I think that's, he'll be 26 by the time he gets out. I think that's enough time to learn from your mistakes. But this is where the story, <laughs> it kind of it gets funny more than it does intense, at least in my opinion. He posted pictures of classified government briefings, classified documents, government briefings on a little old discord server with the amazing and just outrageous name thug shaker central you can't make this up you can't make that he posted classified government document on thug shaker central what is a thug shaker <laughs> let's take a look thug shaker the Thug Shaker is a dance move typically performed by young black men that are presumably part of the hood. These young men are frequently naked while performing the Thug Shaker, and when they are not, are typically in their underwear or otherwise exposed, so that big fat ass now that that's out the way. The Thug Shaker Central Discord server was actually pretty small and it only had about two dozen members, so there was only about 24 to 25 Thug Shakers one too many uh, sweaty teenagers that have access to classified government documents. Basically on this server, they would talk about lovely things like racism and gun violence, you know, just amazing things to have conversations about. And of course, thug shaking, but mainly gun violence and just slurs all across the board. The US government officials have actually confirmed the authenticity and the validity of some of the documents. And by some, I mean a majority of the documents. These documents basically detail strategy around the Russian war on Ukraine and other sensitive information about Canada, South Korea, Israel, Egypt, and other countries, you know, not that big of a deal, you know? A brewing World War III. If that information leaks, it's fine, I guess. 
Some of these documents actually date as recent as February, which is just a couple of months ago. So that's pretty recent. What's actually interesting about this is he started posting these documents back in December of 2022. So he's been at it for a couple of months now. Now, of course, with anything online, it lives and stays there forever. With that in mind, as you could guess, these documents didn't just stay in the Thugshaker Central Discord server. These documents that were leaked were then posted by another teenager on another Discord server for the YouTuber WowMow. These documents were then picked up by somebody else from his server and then taken over to the Minecraft Earth map server, which in that server was then spread to thousands of people. It was from a Minecraft Discord server. Just, just, just listen to that. It was from a Minecraft Discord server that these documents were then leaked online to the general public and then intercepted by the authorities and shut that down real quick. Discord in this story acts as the rabbit hole. And as a new teenager comes along and discovers, wow, government documents. The hole only begins to be dug deeper and deeper and deeper. What started as a small leak to roughly 20 people has then spread to thousands and then the United States government. Now, the documents. What were they? Well, at the start of the video, I said that it was mainly Russian war documents or stuff on Canada and stuff like that, but they're actually a little more elaborate than that. There were roughly a hundred documents leaked. One document included different scenarios that could impact the war on Ukraine. These include predictions about what would occur if either President Vladimir Putin died or President Zelensky died from Ukraine. So it was basically just lining out what would go down in those two scenarios. Also, some of the documents confirmed that America does have spies in other countries. So it just kind of confirms obvious suspicions. Like, of course we have spies, but it just confirms that we have United States spies and intelligence out there, which could obviously lead to some sort of complication. I mean, it makes sense that it would. Jack uh, Teixeira, the dude that basically started the leak, however, was assigned to work on packaging some of these documents as a result of his job, which is where he most likely took the snapshots of the documents, went home, went home to his sweaty hobbit hole, and leaked them to Thug Shaker Central. You cannot make this up, y'all. Jack is now in police custody and will face intense charges. I can assure that. The moral of the story, just don't leak government documents. It's not that hard to do that. Don't be stupid. Be smart. And by the way, if you want me to actually go undercover on the Thug Shaker Central Discord and try to talk to the people on there, obviously it's full of people that's just spewing slurs and hate, which I don't condone and I don't even want to even consider myself a part of it. But if you want me to go on that Discord and just kind of go undercover and try to search for anybody that was there at the original leak, then let me know and I'll try to go in and get some other perspectives other than just what's came out on web websites and news articles so far. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a subscribe, uh, leave a comment, especially if you want me to do that, and I'll maybe even give you a shout out in the next video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.